Oh my God, dude. What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. So, now this sucks. The beginning of the video is basically because I was about, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes in the video and my camera just went, Meh. you're done recording, dude. Memory card's full. So, that's what just happened. So, what I was saying in this video was, I wanted to know if any of you guys are like kind of at this point where I'm at, right? So basically, I'm at the point now where, you know, in your beginning of your beer stages, you get kind of like, sometimes you'll get an awkward stage. Well, I've kind of reached that point now. It's not that it's awkward. It's just pissing me off. Certain times, my beard is literally pissing me off, okay? So my goal was to grow my beard to a certain length and then surpass that by probably an inch or two, maybe three and then what i would do is i would have a nice long healthy beard and i would come back and cut off all the dead split ends whatever and make it real nice and healthy and keep it at that length all right but it's really really hard to do it's a lot easier said than done you know to do a small trim on it is nothing major it's really easy that doesn't bother me but to actually come in and take you know i would probably cut it to about right there something like that I don't know, you guys let me know if that'd be a good length. But that's probably about where I cut it. And just leave it there. But now that I got it this length, I just can't seem to cut it, man. It's like, I'm scared. I like literally get stage fright. Just thinking about it, I get all freaked out and worked up, man, my nerves get shot. And it just freaks me out. But the point is, the whole reason I'm talking about this, and I know some of you are probably done with this, some of you ain't, your beards ain't quite as long yet. And having a long beard ain't the coolest thing in the world. Having a short beard ain't the coolest thing in the world. No matter what you have, that's what you got. You know what I'm saying? So if I cut my beard up to here, it would still be cool to me. I still have a beard. So that's what it boils down to. It doesn't, the length doesn't matter to me. But now that I've got it this long, it's hard for me to cut it. You know what I mean? Like I said, those of you rocking a short beard, that's what you want to rock. Those of you rocking a long beard, that's what you want to rock. This is kind of where I fell into. Never really even thought about growing my beard this long. You know what I mean? So uh, with that being said, these are the things that bother me about it. You know, they really start driving me crazy. You know, one thing is in the morning, man. In the morning, my beard is so messed up. And it's to the point now to where when it's messed up, it's all over my face. Dude, it's like in my ears. It's on my nose. It's just everywhere and if somebody was just to walk in my house and be like hey man what's up and i was still asleep dude they'd be like what in the is wrong with your beard bro like it's everywhere and that's i really don't care what they think but it's more like what i feel when i wake up you know the beard is everywhere it's all in my face i'm just constantly pulling it down trying to get it straightened back out and it kind of disrupts my sleep you know to be honest and i'm not saying this to downgrade myself or anybody else has a beard long it's just i'm just kind of curious if anybody else is having this problem or you know what's a way to beat it you know i thought about maybe just pulling it all together put a hair tie on it so it'll stay together while i'm sleeping and um you know i've actually done that and it does help but here's another thing you know i got my little dog you know when i'm laying down sometimes i'll be laying down on the couch uh, my little dog, I know you guys seen her. She's actually right here. Bing! Right there. So, you know, when I'm laying down on the couch or something like that, she actually likes to come in and lay on my chest. So if my head's over to the side or something like that and she lays here, now I can't move my beard because she's laying on it. You know what I mean? And that's not really a big problem. You know, I can move the dog out of the way. Um, but then here's another scenario that drives me crazy and this one's probably the absolute worst man sometimes i'll be sitting there laying in bed and i i like to sleep on my on my back you know so i'll roll over and as i roll over my beard will get under my shoulder and if this happens to any of you guys with a long beard dude you got to comment down below because this is like funny as hell but at the same time it's so irritating man so i'll go to roll over like this on my side and i'm not a side sleeper so I've got, but I'll get on my side and my beard will be over here like this on my shoulder. So what will happen is when you're laying on your side, you're actually laying right on your beard. So when you go to roll back over or not even roll back over, just go to move your head, your head's stuck, bro. You ain't moving your head because all your body weight is stuck on it. So it's really weird. You're just sitting there moving your head like this and it's stuck. Um, 
And those of you that ain't got your beard that long, trust me, when it gets longer like this, you'll get to that point, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll probably comment on this video and say, dude, I know exactly what you're talking about now. But that there, those are the things, man, that drive me absolutely crazy with my beard. So as I'm gonna title this video, my beard is pissing me off, this is what I'm talking about. Um, and I'd like to know for those of you who got a beard longer than mine, or maybe the same size of mine, are you having this problem? And you know, what do you do about it? You know, do you deal with it? Or, uh, you know, what's the, what's the goal here? What's the end result? Mine personally, like I've said in the past, I never really wanted my beard this long. Now that it is this long, I absolutely love it. But, you know, I wouldn't mind going up and taking off a little chunk, like I said, probably about right there. And I would be just fine with that because I grew it longer than I actually wanted to. And, uh, and if I didn't like it, then it would just grow right back, you know. It's always good to have a nice, healthy beard trim. And that's what I would do is basically come in here, if I was to cut it, and take off quite a few inches and trim off basically any dead-end, straggler, um, split-ends, anything like that. It would be just a nice, everything would be almost the same length, healthy beard. And that's what this whole journey is about, is being comfortable with what you got. I've just really gotten out of this uh, comfortable stage with my beard. You know, when I style it all just right, and I'm holding my head up just right and everything like that, like I am right here in the video, everything's all good. But in other times, in the situations I described, it's really driving me absolutely crazy. And it's just something that's tough to deal with. It's something that's been on my mind for a while. I'm not going to cut it off completely when I do cut it. I know you guys that watch the channel probably hear me talk about this. I've talked about it several times. I'm probably like sitting there going, come on, bro, just cut it already or don't. But it's a really hard decision, man. And those of you who's got a beard knows that that's just what it is, man. It's not easy to make a decision like that. But what do you guys think about it? Um, let me know in the comments if I was just to cut, you know, about right like that, you know, something like that. Basically, just enough to have my taper, I like this taper where it goes down, just enough to have that, but take off this underneath right here, but just have a nice clean beard of that length, and uh, what that would be like. What do you guys think, you know? A lot of you guys been watching my channel since day one. I still can't believe that, man. Anybody that's been doing that, man, dude, you have no idea how appreciated I am about that. So there's one guy, and I can't remember his name because he hasn't commented in a couple videos, uh, and it's right on the back of my, it's right in the back of my head. It's literally trying to come out, but I can't think of it. And I'll stutter this video if I try to think about it anymore. But this man told me that he's been watching my video since the beginning of my channel, bro. That is so, so important to me, man. Anybody that's been doing that, man, leave a comment down below and let me know. Cause I know some of you guys don't comment. Anybody that's been doing that, let me know. That is so much appreciated. It's appreciated for anybody that watches the channel. But somebody that's been here since the very beginning, bro, like, you have no idea. That's like, that means everything to me, man. I have, like, not that many friends, and some of you guys are literally, like, my closest friends. So if you ever got a question, ever need to know anything, leave a comment down below. And if you don't feel comfortable there, hit me up on my Instagram, man. Message me anything you want, dude. I'll talk to you. Sometimes in a message, I'm kind of short. I don't really mean to be because I'm just not a talkative person. I know that seems odd because you see me on camera and I'm sitting there jibber jabbering. And, uh, but it's, I mean, I'm not a very con conversational person unless you can talk better than me, then I'll kind of go back and forth with you and kind of chop it up like that. But for me, it's hard to just start up a conversation. But if you guys got something you want to talk about, hit me up, man. I'm more than likely just chop it up with you on Instagram or whatever it may be. And uh, anything, man, questions, concerns, something about your life, anything, man, I'm here for support for anybody that watches my channel. And with that being said, see you guys in the next one.